everybody, I'm back. And today, you're not gonna believe the cute stuff that I got. I will show you how I made this look with kids makeup. <music> you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah, I'm your cult leader, and welcome to The Cute Life. Today, I had a completely different video planned, but I went to Target this morning to get dog food and I found something. And my idea for that video went completely out the window, and now I'm doing this video. I found this super adorable Smackers Shimmer Palette. It's children's makeup, but I thought it was so cute and I was wondering like, hey, I mean, makeup's kind of makeup, right? Could I possibly use this? And I don't know. So yeah, that was what today's video is about. I also got the Disney Princess Lip Smackers. And they are just so cute and they smell so good and it came with like a lot let's see there's like 10 and each one's a different Disney princess and I am freaking in love so if you want to see how I made this look with children's makeup and chapstick keep watching okay so I've already done my complexion and my brows I showed you that too these videos would get very repetitive. So, I already did that. I'm going to start with priming my eyelids with NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Now for the fun part. Okay, right, I gotta open this. It's always like the vein of my existence trying to open manufacturing products, manufacturers, packaging, the worst. Okay, Aww, look at this little picture. It's just so adorable. I'll stick that on something. Okay, so here it is. It comes with like little kid brushes. I'm just gonna get rid of those, I don't need those. Okay, so what should we play with here? Look, dream free. Mm. This is so cute. I think I'm gonna start with this super pale peachy color on the, in the crease. Oh, wow. Oh, that's more pigmented than I was expecting. I put a lot on my brush. <laughs> Okay, mm, very cute. Okay, now let's do the other side. I'm going to take this tiny, kind of fluffy, but also kind of dense little brush for my crease. I'm going to use this. Oh, there's names. They have names for the colors, just like a real palette. Oh my goodness. Okay, but my eyes suck so i can't read that first color i used but the color i'm going to use now is like a purpley color and it's bff i'm going to use a this kind of darker pink color and it is called like a dream and I'm going to use that on the outer third of my eyelid up to my brow bone. So far, the colors I've chosen are all pretty similar. Just so your kid doesn't look too much like a clown, like me. And now. I'm gonna use something pretty different. Let's use, let's use the blue color. No, 
let's use, no, let's use the green color, which is daring. Just on the area of your lid that's left, the inner. Now this color is not pigmented at all. I'm gonna also try this color pop. It's kind of a brown, reddish brown color. And that out here. I wanna try some of these other colors out. So I'm going to use this color Curious, which is like a periwinkle color. And I'm gonna put this under my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the color, this blue color, which I can't not read, I can't read it. It's uh, too small, but it's a blue color. And put that on the outer third of the lower lash line. A big difference in those two colors. And now finally, I'm going to take this kind of, I think it's supposed to be like a highlight color and do, called Dream Free. I'm gonna put that on the inner corners of my eyes. Blend it in. And now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend it all. And I'm going to take this last color, Keep On Dancing, which is a bright pink. I'm gonna use that on the apples of my cheeks for some blush. A little dab on my nose. And yeah, I think that will do it for the palette. Obviously, they're not very pigmented. The pinks are pretty pigmented, but everything else it's pretty subtle, which, you know, it's for kids. So you don't want them going too crazy because they do. Going to do lashes. Now, they didn't have my normal lashes that I like, the Ardell Naked Lashes number 420. So I'm gonna try these out. I've never tried the Wispy stuff. So these are the Ardell Wispies number 113. See how this goes. I need to get some scissors and some other stuff I forgot. My goodness, these are much wispier than I'm used to. So let's see if I like these. Might take me some time to get used to them. Oops, I didn't put my I didn't put my uh, mascara on. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. pretty much uh bigger than i'm used to but pretty might take me a few wears to get used to them but that's okay it's like that with me for most things i have to try things a few times before i can decide whether i like them or not so it's feel a lot more like fragile too manufacturer's glue i hate it I don't understand why they have to glue it to the package. Can they do something else? Just like put them in a box loose? They're a little harder to work with. Okay. That's as good as I'm gonna get on this first time trying them. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about these. I'm gonna have to wear them for a while. Before I make up my mind. Mascara on the bottom. And now for lips. 
look at these cute little lipsticks. Each one's a different Disney princess. So of course I had to get all of them because I need this many chopsticks. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. We have Mulan. We have Tiana. We have Snow White. One of my favorites, Rapunzel. Pocahontas. Ariel. Aurora. Adorable. Belle. Cinderella. And so cute. Each one of like the artwork on these are just adorable. Okay, now I wonder do they all smell the same or do they smell different? They smell different. Yeah. Oh my. Okay, so Jasmine. Jasmine. To me it smells like fruity. Or bubble gummy bell. Bell is like smells like cake or something. Mm. Aurora. Ooh. Aurora's like super fruity. Like strawberry or something. Cinderella. I can't smell any. Oh. What is that? It smells really familiar. Oh, I can't place what that is. They don't have the, uh, even if it's written on here. Okay, so this says Cinderella, always dreaming juniper. Aurora was bedazzling berry. Oh, Belle was curious caramel. That's why it's not like cake. Jasmine, daring blue raspberry. Ariel, dream free peach. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. Mmm. Pocahontas, Brave Blossom. Ooh, that smells so good. Rapunzel, Pop, Passion Fruit. Oh my goodness. Snow White is Awakening Cherry Kiss. Ooh. Ooh. These also like very like so subtle have like a tint. Mulan is one tough cookie. Ooh. Mm, it does smell like cookies. And Tiana is keep dreaming. Oh no, keep dancing. Beignets. Oh my God, you guys. Beignets. Okay. I actually learned how to make beignets from scratch just because of this movie. <laughs> And they're so good. Oh my gosh. I actually made some the other night. Okay, so I don't know which one to wear. Which one should we try? Well, let me put my liner. I'm going to put some liner on first. I'm going to use this uh, gel. What is this called? This, uh, what is this called? The Color Pop Gel Pencils. I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be for your eyes, but I use them on the, my lips because I love how smoothly they go on. And lately I've had very dry skin and lips, which is not like me, but the weather's just been so weird. Okay, now it's time to decide on what, what one I wanna want to use it's gonna be hard I think I'm just gonna go with my favorite because Princess Aurora is my favorite we all know that and it smells really good let's put some of this on oh my gosh you guys this smells so good I'm hungry <laughs> So yeah, you guys, I actually really <laughs> like this look of children's makeup. It actually is pretty cute. Still getting gonna get used to the lashes. I don't know what's happening here. I like them, I just think I don't know how to put them on properly just yet. It's gonna take a little practice. So, bear with me. So yeah, that is today's look. 
Super cute, princess, kids makeup look. Yeah, I will link all the products that I use down below in case you wanna check any of these out and have some fun. You and your kids can share the same makeup. If you liked this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It's how I decide what kind of videos to make. Make sure and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you'll know when I upload new videos and we can be kids together. I will see you in the next one. Bye.